Hi, I'm Dr. Keon Kramy, board certified facial plastic surgeon. I'm excited to share a new innovative office based procedure utilizing polydioxinone or PDO threads for non surgical tightening and lifting of the tissues of the face and the body. Many of us remember the contour thread lift, which was largely unsuccessful in this country due to problems with irregularity and extrusion. The main issue with these threads is that they were being utilized to try to create a surgical result and the threads were non-absorbable. Polydioxinone is an attractive thread material. It is a synthetic monofilament that is completely hydrolyzed in the body between four to six months. They're resilient and have a high tensile strength for the first two to three months. There's no pyrogenic reaction when they're broken down, so the inflammatory response is quite controlled and very appropriate for aesthetic use. PDO is used frequently in surgical subspecialties and has been successfully used for the past three decades. PDO sutures are FDA approved for use anywhere on the body for tissue approximation. PDO threads are also hydrophobic, therefore when placed in the subcutaneous tissues will not draw water to it causing any edema. When PDO threads are placed into the subcutaneous tissues, it will create neocollagenesis and bands of fibrosis around the threads. PDO threads and aesthetics are unique. There's no fixation point and therefore two different goals can be achieved. Either a tightening effect or overall improvement of the skin being treated by placing several smooth sutures in different patterns or an actual lifting effect by placing barbed PDO sutures in different areas. Threads are an excellent adjunct to fillers and are not meant to replace fillers or volume loss. Threads would be utilized for someone who's actually looking for a true lifting or softening of areas like the corners of the mouth or the nasal labial fold. For tightening of the skin, you're going to want to utilize primarily the smooth threads, although the twist threads can also be used for this purpose. For lifting of the tissues, we now have the Barb 3 uh, Nova thread. The Barb 3 combines both a unidirectional and a bidirectional thread in one thread itself and is loaded on a cannula. When performing the threads for a biostimulative effect or to improve the overall quality of the skin, a mesh type of technique is utilized. Many threads are placed next to each other either in parallel, crisscross, or diagonal fashion to create an overall mesh effect. This effect produces gradual collagenesis around the fibers, producing a net improvement in about four to six weeks after placement of the threads. Twist fibers are used in specific areas when added volume is desired. The PDO twist suture comes in different lengths and different gauges. I recommend using them for marionette lines, nasal labial folds, and the most popular area for twist fibers to be used are for augmentation of the lips. This can be placed right in the vermilion border to give a subtle increased roll of the lip both for both the upper and the lower lip. The twist threads can also be used to treat the glabella region, the temples, or really anywhere that you want a more robust mesh. The twist thread is actually twisted around the needle, which gives it a kink, and that's why it gives it a little bit more volume than a regular smooth fiber. You can think of the twist essentially the same as a smooth, but with added volume. Barb 3 is useful for brow lifts, it's useful for mid-facial lifting, and it's useful for tightening the jowl. You can also use it for cutaneous neck bands. This is demonstrating one week after five different sutures for the mid face and lower third. This patient received five sutures for effacement of the nasal labial fold and the lower third. This is showing immediate results after two sutures for the mid face and three for the lower third. This is showing results after two sutures for the mid face and three sutures for the lower third. This is showing immediate improvement after placement of two sutures for the mid face and three for the lower third. This is showing improvement of the mid face after placement of two sutures. This is showing results after 
two sutures for the mid face and three for the lower third. This is showing before and after placement of twist fibers for lip augmentation. PDO threads are an excellent adjunct to your practice. They can be utilized in patients wanting overall improved quality of their skin, of their face or anywhere of their body, or to actually lift soft tissues in the appropriate candidates. PDO threads can be done in less than 30 minutes in the office as an outpatient very comfortably with minimal to no downtime. PDO threads are extremely popular in Europe and Asia. In many practices in these countries, it's actually up to 50% of the injectable practice. It's very exciting to have PDO threads as part of the aesthetic toolbox here in the United States. PDO threads also have a very fast return on investment as the cost of goods is far less than the cost of goods of other modalities that we perform. If you're interested in hands-on training for PDO threads, please visit pdotrainings.com to look for a location near you.